My name is Sierra, aka Artsy, and I have been flipping for seven years, and I've had this channel for six years. My biggest dream of this channel was to make my own knife and finally be an entrepreneur. I finally have achieved that, and I'm so excited to share my dream with you. Quick note, um, on my merch channel called artsyflips.com, I made a bunch of merch with this logo, and it also has this logo right here. Um, it's a wave, it's the wave on the box of these. It's the wave holding like a fist and it has the knife in it. And I made a bunch of merch of those, so go check those out. So the knife I am selling is called the wave, if you haven't already seen it in the title and everything. You can get this knife on artsyballasong.com. It will be ready by the drop and I will drop a hundred knives on my first drop and it will be on November 6th at 9 a.m. PST. The reason I'm only dropping 100 right now is because I am shipping them out myself, but there is likely going to be two more drops coming soon. But don't worry, I will make sure to alert you about drops on Instagram, YouTube, and by your email if you put it into my website. Another thing is this first drop will only be to US customers. This is because I have not got all the logistics of customs forms and how to ship this knife overseas, but I'm hoping that my next two will include international shoppers, so watch out for any notifications on that. So let me tell you a little bit about me. I am an artist, photographer, and videographer that films mostly professional sports, concerts, and I do freelance photography on the side of portraits of people, nature, I went to Africa and filmed a bunch of animals. I Honestly, my end goal of my whole life is to work for National Geographic. I designed this knife design, the website, the box design, and most of the videos from scratch um, because I learned all the skills in, as an art major in college. I also took all the product photography and if you know my friend Nolan, that uh, his name's actually Stepro in a lot of my Twitch streams, um, he did the promo video that I just released. So, oh, The Wave is a collaboration between Nibali's and me, and I don't know if you know Nibali's, they made the Nibali's Morse, and I made a review for that, which is up above, and I really loved their product. So I decided that since their product was such good quality, it wasn't a clone, they don't support clones, that I wanted to collaborate with them. Soon after I made that review for them, in about May of 2022, they reached out and asked me if I wanted to collaborate on a new product. Of course I said yes, because it's always been a goal of mine to make my own knife. So the Wave is unique from most other knives because it looks real, but it's actually a trainer. It's not sharp. It can appeal to two different kinds of audiences. It can appeal to kids. Kids can flip this knife and not hurt themselves, so that's why I kind of made it. A lot of my audience is younger. And then it also can appeal to guys or girls that want to sharpen a knife and give themselves a challenge. Especially, I know a lot of you guys are really big knife enthusiasts out there. You want to you wanna get this knife and you want to see if you can sharpen it. Well, I'm going to try and do the same thing, so it's pretty exciting. Like, I wanted myself to have a challenge, you'd have a challenge, so kind of cool that it can appeal to so many people. If you're kind of a beginner and you're just starting off with flipping, this is a nice knife for you because you can use it as a trainer until you get good and then you can sharpen it and you know a lot of people like to sharpen it when they're a lot better because then they know how to not hit themselves and I don't know if you guys know but a lot of live blades at least the ones I know of for sure are, that are good are ranging from $120 to $1,700 which is such <laughs> all of those prices in there are very expensive um, so it's nice that this trainer can be sharpened and then you can have a live blade afterward. So it's kind of a, a knife on a budget. I got this idea from my first battle song that I ever had, which is this one. It kind of looks like a butter knife. Um, about six years ago I bought this, it's how I got into battle song flipping. I found it on Amazon and it actually got discontinued right after I bought it. And it's terrible quality. Um, because it doesn't have screws or pivots or anything, it just has pins, which I hate pins. <laughs> I know back then when I was starting out flipping, I wanted a knife that looked real but was not. 
that means I didn't want holes in the blade. Like I wanted this knife to fool my friends. This was when I was younger. I, I'd flip it around and be like, look, this is real and I'm not cutting myself. Nowadays, you know, I flip both, but I thought it was fun when I was younger, so I definitely remembered that and made a product that was similar. I used higher quality materials than most of these products from Nabali's because I wanted you to be able to sharpen it and I wanted it to be worth the price, which is $74.99 to be exact. Um, for the blade I used 440C stainless steel and most knives um, come with 420C so I had to pay extra for it and I also got these unique colors of light blue and the teal. Here's the teal. Um, so I thought that it would be cool to do two colors that are related to water. Another good quality of this knife is it's best to be used as a beater knife if you're not sharpening it. So what I mean is that it looks real, right? And it doesn't have a tip that can crack off. So a beater knife is you practice it, practice it into the ground, so then you get really good at flipping and it's a great practice knife, so you could just drop it, drop it, drop it. Um, so that's what I'm going to use it as. You don't have to use it as that, but I think it's great because it doesn't have that tip that could crack off. So in terms of physical features, the handles are thinner that allow for the fingers to grip it better. Um, I made it thinner than all the knives in my collection because that's kind of what I find flips the most easy when you're doing like a Murnax or an Infinity Ladder. I purposely put a design here and here um, as grip in order to favor the spots that you flip the most with. So when you're doing a rollover chaplain or fanning, you always are using this, right? This area right here. So there's grip there and then if you're doing a choker fan, an Infinity Ladder, any of those kind of ladders, you're using this exact area and you're flipping it like this, right? So I put grip in those two areas trying to make the most ideal knife that I could. In terms of materials, the blade is made of 440C stainless steel, like I said before. Um, really good material to sharpen. It's really thin, if you can see, um, it literally barely, it can, it's gonna be very easy to sharpen this part, but um, the end is a little thick. Uh, I tried to get rid of that, but it would count more as a real knife if I did get rid of it. So I think that you can still sharpen it. I'm going to still try. Why not? The handles are channel design and they're made of 6061 aluminum and they have Zen pins. There's also a bushing system right here with screws, washers, and sex bolts. The screws can be tightened down all the way to the pivot and so it causes and the handles will still be swinging freely like this. You'll know um, if you have a cheap Amazon knife, you probably know this already, but if you tighten the screw down all the way, it usually doesn't swing freely. So you know that the knife is good quality if it swings like this and doesn't stop and doesn't get caught up. This bushing system that is used allows for limited play and tap and smooth flipping, especially because there's screws. Um, I would never make a knife without screws. Also going to be a pivot upgrade, by the way, because um, Nabali's has been working on pivots and they're still not done yet on a better pivot system. This one's good, but there will be a, an upgrade that's released on my website in about a month. And then you can replace these ones with that if you want. Um, so just look out for any notifications on it. Knife comes in teal and light blue, two really beautiful colors. And there is two options you can do on the website. You can buy the $74.99 one with no signature, or you could buy one with my signature. I bought a nice pen that writes on aluminum that is permanent, and I have gold and silver, um, and so that would be $84.99, which is $10 more. So I could give you the signature on the knife, um, and you can pick where I sign it. You could put it in a note or you can email me. So what is in the box? Um, here's the box. It is a design I made um, where I asked Nabali's for a design and I made a design and I blended them together. There's the wave I painted. Um, I painted it a while ago and so what I did is I took that wave and I put it on the cover of the box and on t-shirt designs because I thought it was really cool. So here is the box design. When you open it, there's a manual. Um, this manual I wrote myself. Um, so I did a quick note, um, parts 
uh, notes on the bushing system and how you shouldn't take it apart honestly it's kind of hard to put back together and and have it still work um, there's a note on sharpening the knife um, there's a big uh, this is a big deal to me um, sharpening the knife in my opinion I'm not I'm encouraging you to do it in order to flip not for this to be a weapon this knife is meant to be a hobby a fidget toy and what you know for fun and so I'm putting this and I'm also saying check laws related to your country if you sharpen it and you get arrested or you get hurt um, this is that is not my fault because I I warned you plus <laughs> I um, didn't give it to you sharp so that's going to be your choice I also put a how to maintain your bell song and the ballets helped me with some of these graphics how to add oil and we said not to disassemble it honestly and then you can scan this to get to my YouTube channel the remaining parts of the box so when you open it here is the teal knife look how beautiful that is no scratches nothing mine's like kind of beat up my uh, other one that I got a long time ago so um, you open it and here is the knife right and then more contents of the box um, there's this T10 uh, Torx screwdriver um, there's Loctite blue Loctite um, then there's this little baggie so in this baggie is um, a pivot another screwdriver pivot tool and like two of them there's four washers two pivot screws and two sex bolts slash bushings so you can replace parts um, if something happens to your knife wrap this up I want to let you know that I love this hobby and in this community a lot um, I want more people to get into it and be included especially of any gender or sexuality I want you to feel welcome and I welcome you to this community um, I hope this knife can cause us to have fun and get more people into the hobby. I worked so many months on it, designing it, and I can't wait for you to buy it and tell me what you think. One last thing, if you become a Patreon of mine, I really appreciate my Patreons of any tier. I will save you a knife in either this drop or the next drop. I will save you a knife and make sure you get one. You won't have to beat people out for these knives. Um, so, but if I end up getting more than a hundred Patreons or something and I don't have enough knives, that's where I'll cap it off. But I want you guys to know that if you be a, if you become a Patreon, you will get priority over others. So there's a bunch of ways to get a hold of me if you have any questions. You can DM me down below or on Instagram. My Instagram's right here. Or you can email me on artsyflips21 at gmail.com. Um, and also my website's about to be up and there will be a bunch of email me for questions um, all over the website so I hope that you have fun with this knife and everyone can hopefully get in on the drop.